Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're in the western suburbs of Chicago, and today I'm with one of my sponsors, Rick Parsons. Good to see you. Good to be here. Friend of mine, Vintage Indy Racing Group. Dot com vintage indie racing group and Rick's one of my sponsors Rick loves indie cars would you say that's fair oh uh, absolutely and as I'm rummaging through his warehouse I happen to fall upon something you're gonna see let me grab the camera and you'll see what would I found and they finally got it all back to show because they're gonna bring it to a show in Geneva Illinois here soon Rick what is this this is the Lear Vapor 9 indie car which Bill Lear spent uh, reportedly over 13 million dollars developing a wow. steam engine and was going to showcase it with the IndyCar, the Lear Vapordyne IndyCar. So when did you first see this car? I saw this I think probably in the late 90s at, a, at an auction mm -hmm. and uh, didn't sell at that point but I contacted the owner and over the following several years I negotiated and their price came down, mine came up, and uh, we finally settled on something to uh, to acquire the car. I'm going to brag on you for just a second. You were just at Road America in the vintage Indy cars, and what'd you, what place did you come in? Well, we won there, but we're running there. We're running a Formula 5000 car, <laughs> which is equivalent to uh, Formula One car. This was the actual championship Formula 5000 car from 1976, and uh, we had a group of 20 Formula 5000 cars from that era that. Uh, uh, we were lucky enough and everything ran well and we, we won there. The well, bottom line is my sponsor is racing and winning. Thank you, Rick. Let's go right to the car. Let's take a look over your shoulder here. Come on back with me. Come on back here. Yeah. And this is the Vapordyne. And what makes the Vapordyne so unique is this car was built to run on steam. Yes, a steam powered 60s, late 60s Indy car, number 23. And let's take a look at the outside of it. Now the engine is not in it, but everything is here. Rick, tell me what, what possesses you to want to get the only steam Indy car in this time era. Well, I've always been interested in the engineering aspects of uh, race cars, particularly. I have uh, a background in that. I have patents on suspension systems and. Um, Things of unique uh, engineering exercises are quite quite interesting to me. Engineering exercise, and that's what this car was. So you can see from the front as we stand in front of, and this for an Indy car is pretty wide and pretty long. Even yeah. at the day, they're much more tubular in design. And remember, it had to have a boiler, and a boiler takes up quite a bit of space. But the nice thing is, if you get on a wreck, it's water, not gas, or met. What is it? Well, what, you need what, what do they run? What do they run in those things? Well, water, of course, creates the steam, but you need to have fuel to fire the burner to generate the steam. Yeah. Look at that. How cool is that? You see the pedals way down there. And the pointed mirrors, as you can see there. There's the Lear Motor Corp. The Lear Vapordyne. Amazing. <laughs> okay. There's this big vent in the back, as you can see, that looks out the back there. To the transaxle cooler. The transaxle cooler. And there's the back Those of this are the car. filler and vent. Uh tubes in the back. Where These you two fuel here? And one's vent. Yep. Would the fuel just Look be... Like taillights. Right. Would the fuel just be steam? Would the fuel be no, water? No, no. Fuel's uh, just a form of um, uh, not generally gasoline, but uh, a little less volatile fuel. Uh, like jet fuel. Like jet fuel. Rick, stand right next to her. There's another car for the Vintage Indie Group, another car that's just amazing. Rick, thanks so much for being on My Car Story, and thanks for sharing another amazing car. Wow. It's always a pleasure.